Now that you know how to find the highest common factor to a list of numbers, we can use that highest common factor to help us to factorize an algebraic expression. So the word factorize means to write something or to write an expression as the product of its factors. So if ever you ask to factorize something, it means that you need to write something as a product. Remember, product means times. So in other words, what factors, what numbers did I times together to give me that expression? So just as a numeric example, if I wanted to write 6 as the product of its factors, I could write it as 3 times 2. So writing 6 as 3 times 2 would be factorizing it. So with an expression, an algebraic expression, it's a little bit more complex because you have to find the original expressions that were multiplied together. So in effect, you are doing the opposite of what you did when you multiplied things out. You are now given the answer of a multiplication question and you are asked to tell them or to tell the marker what the factors were that were multiplied together. So because it can get a little bit confusing whether you must times or whether you must find the factors, it's often useful to highlight the instructions in a question so that you're very clear on what it is that you need to do. And the, the two basic instructions you will come across are the words simplify. And to simplify means that you must multiply out. So you take the expression and you multiply it out. So for example, if you had two times x plus 3 and you were asked to simplify, you would do the distributive law and you would multiply out the, um, the, the two brackets. Okay, if you are asked to factorize, that means that you must write the expressions as a product of its factors. So basically what you are actually doing is the opposite of simplifying. So in other words, if you've got something like 2x plus 6, you are then saying, right, you multiplied 2 times x plus 3 to give you 2x plus 6. So that's what it means to factorize. Right, so if we have a look at some examples, if we want to factorize these expressions, our first job is to find the highest common factor for the numbers. Because once we've found the highest common factor, we've then found the biggest number that we know is an exact factor of each term in an expression. And if that number is a factor of each term, it will actually be a factor of the expression as a whole. So our two numbers here that we've got are 2x squared. So if we start with the factors of 2x squared and the factors of 4x, so just to remind ourselves what we did. Factors of 2x squared are 1, 2, and x and x squared are both factors of 2x squared. The factors of 4x are 1, 2, 4, and just x. X is only a factor of x. X squared, because it's bigger than x, you can't divide x by x squared exactly. It doesn't give you an exact division. All right, so if we look at the numeric um, parts of each of the factors, the highest number that is common to both lists is 2, and the highest power of a variable that is common to both lists is x. So 2x is going to be our common factor. But remember now, we're not just asked to find the highest common factor. We are asked to factorize these expressions. So that means we must write them as a product of their factors. So we've already found the one factor of 2x. Now we need to find out what did we multiply 2x by to give us 2x squared plus 4x. So 2x times what gave us 2x squared? Well, it must have been 2 times 1, and x times another x will give us x squared. Then if we look at the 4, the second number in our bracket must be a positive number, because only a positive times a positive will give us a positive in the middle. And 2x times 2 is 4x. So the factors of 2x squared plus 4x are 2x times x plus 2. And now we we stop at that point. We are asked to factorize. What a lot of people do is they then multiply this expression back out, which is basically just going back to the question that you were given. So again, be very clear on the instruction. We are factorizing here, so that means that our answer will have brackets in it. It will be a product of factors. All right, if we look at number two, 
If we consider the coefficients 9, 6 and 3, the highest number that can go into 9, 6 and 3 is 3. If we now look at the variables, we have an a squared, an a, but there is an a missing in this expression. So a is not common. For something to be common, it has to be in every single term. If we look at the b's, we've got a b, a b squared and a b cubed. So the highest power that is common to all three is just b. And then if we look at the c's, we have a c here and a c here, but the c is missing from this term over here, which means that c is not common. So our common factor is just 3b. Now we've got to find out what we times 3b by. So we've got to do a bit of detective work. So we want to times 3b by a number here, and now we want our answer to be 9a squared b. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3b, we need to get a 3a squared b. So what's missing is a squared. We don't need to times by another b because b times a squared is already a squared b. So 3b times 3a squared will give us 9a squared b. Our next uh, term in the bracket will be a positive because a positive times a positive gives us a positive. 3 times 2 is 6. We need to, we've just got a b here and our final term here has to be an a, a b squared and a c. So we need an a. We need another b because b times b will give us b squared and we need the c. So if you just check 3b times 2abc the 3 times the 2 will give us the 6, there will give us the a, b times b gives us b squared, and there's the c. So we've got everything that we need in order to get back to 6a b squared c. Then the last term, because this is a minus, it means that the term in the bracket must be a negative as well, because a positive multiplied by a negative gives us a negative. 3 times 1 is 3, so we don't need to put the 1 there b times b squared will give us b cubed and b times c will give us the c that we need in this term here. So the product of the factors of 9a squared b plus 6ab squared c minus 3b cubed c is 3b into 3a squared plus 2abc minus b squared c. Okay in number three when both the terms of your expression have a negative. We like to take the negative out as part of the common factor. It just makes the bracket look neater when we finish factorizing. So we're going to take out the negative with the common factor because both of our terms are negative. The common factor to 8 and 10 is 2. 2 is the biggest number that divides exactly into 8 and into 10. The x, there's no x in this term over here, so the x is not common, so our common factor is just negative 2. We need to times negative 2 by a positive 4x to get back to negative 8x, and we need to times negative 2 by positive 5 to get back to negative 10. So we have now factorized negative 8x minus 10. And now 2x plus 3, if you think about it, there is no common factor other than 1 that goes into 2 and 3. And as I mentioned, we don't take 1 out as a common factor because it doesn't change the value of the expression. So in actual fact, in question 4, this expression is prime. It cannot be factorized. There are no factors that you can write two numbers as the product of to give you 2x plus 3. So just watch out for these expressions that are prime. All right, in your homework book, there are some examples for you to try on your own. So pause the video here. Okay, factors of 6m squared and 3m cubed. The highest common factor, numeric factor, will be 3. m is common to both terms, and the highest power of m that is common is the m squared. 3m squared times 2 will give you 6m squared and 3m squared times negative m will give you negative 3m cubed. Number two, the highest number factor to 12, 18 and 3 is 3. p is common to all three terms. The highest power of p that is common, it will be p squared. 
the Q is not common because we don't have a Q in this third term over here. So our highest common factor is just 3P squared. We need to times that by 4P squared Q cubed in order to get the 12P uh, to the power of 4 Q cubed. We need to times it by positive 6PQ to get 18P cubed Q. And we need to times it by negative 1 in order to get negative 3P squared. Be very cautious with numbers that you that are exactly the same. Oftentimes, many people just put the bracket over here and leave out that negative one. But then when you multiply it out, if you don't have that negative one there as a placeholder, then you lose this whole last term and you haven't factorized correctly. All right, 3a plus 4b, there is no variable that is common. There is only an a here and only a b there. And there is no number that is good that divides exactly into 3 and 4. So that expression is prime. And then in number 4, because both our terms are negative, we take out a negative as part of our common factor. 2 goes into 2 and it goes into 4. And the highest power of x that is common is just the x to the power of 1. We have to times negative 2x by 1 to give us negative 2x. And we have to times negative 2x by positive 2x to get negative 4x squared.